What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a cybersecurity professional and college student. And this video is going to be a quick video on how to study and pass the LPI Linux Essentials certification. I recently just took this exam last week, Friday, and I passed the exam um, after about 10 days of studying. I had to take this exam or this certification to fulfill uh, a class requirement for my WGU program, which is the Bachelor's of Science in Network Operations and Security. So that was the reason why I had to take this certification. And um, I mean, it never hurts to have a certification to confirm your knowledge about something. So um, that was you know, the reason why I had to take the certification. So with that aside, I'm just gonna give you a couple of resources that are gonna help you with the certification. It's really, really straightforward. It's really easy. Um, it's even easier if you are a general Linux user um, it's not really um, complicated as much um, and you only need a couple of resources for, for this exam. So if, if you were a WGU student, um, definitely the, the class definitely comes with its resources. So definitely check those out. But if you're doing this like not as, as a WGU student, um, one major resource I used for this exam was Jason Dion's Udemy course. And as you guys know, Jason Dion is like the plug for most of my certifications, um, like all of my CompTIA certifications that I've done, I've used Jason Dion's course and also my ITIL certification. So Jason Dion's course is pretty much all I use for the certification. I, I only did a little bit of the WGU course material, which was which was pretty solid, um, but I just felt like I was flowing better with the Jason Dion's course because um, WGU's course was just kind of um, not too structured well enough for me and I really really like structure when I'm studying so I went to, with Jason Dion's course and the course is about 7.5 hours long and I was able to complete this within like three or four days um, and I would say like if you are a general Linux user like you should be able to grasp the concepts easily I've been using Linux for about a year now not like um, as like a super user or anything but I started learning how to use Linux when I started building my home lab because like most of my virtual machines are Linux based so being able to like you know find your way around the command line and doing different basic tasks in Linux were things I had to learn so I'd say I'm a general Linux user somewhere in the middle uh, of beginner and intermediate not just like you know just this is not my first time using Linux. Alright so first things first if this is going to be your first introduction to Linux like you've never used Linux before, I would recommend that you download VirtualBox or Ubuntu uh, or VMware um, and install an Ubuntu virtual machine on it so that you can start familiar familiarizing yourself with using um, the Linux command line because that's a huge chunk of the exam. So yeah, this is like if you've never used Linux before, but if you've used Linux before, you can always, I'm pretty sure you, you should have a virtual machine lying around or a Linux machine that you can easily access to learn more about the command lines. So the Jason Dion's course is pretty sufficient for the exam. Um, and if you watch the course, you practice the commands, you should be pretty good for the exam. However, if you would like to use more resources to kind of just um, improve your knowledge, especially if you've not been using Linux in the past. I recommend checking out TryHackMe's Linux um, um, rooms where you can learn a little bit more about Linux and it's also practical. So definitely check out TryHackMe for the Linux um, rooms. They have a bunch of them, so definitely check those out. And then also Over the Wire. Over, over the Wire is also a really great place to learn some basic Linux skills. So I guess the first uh, first three or the first five games are really solid just to learn the fundamentals that you might need for the exam. You, you could you could decide to go above and beyond and learn a little bit more uh, above, beyond that, but you know, that's left to you. But I feel like for what you need for the exam, this and Dion's course is pretty sufficient as well as if you want to supplement with Try Hack Me or with Over the Wire games and just learn a little bit more about how to use the command line. But yeah, like I said, this exam is pretty, pretty, very easy. Um, and to test yourself in order to prepare for the exam, Jason Dion also has practice, practice exams. So his course comes with two practice exams um, free of charge with the actual course that teaches you about the exam. So those are pretty sufficient. We can also go ahead and get his um, six practice exams also on Udemy. I got those practice exams as well, and I only had to do uh, about three of them which were pretty sufficient for the exam. The, court, the, the, the practice exams he has uh, really prepare you for the actual exam. So I definitely recommend checking those um, practice exams out. So that's essentially my entire journey with the exam. Um, it could have taken me way less to complete the exam, but I was really busy with work stuff. And um, yeah, I procrastinated a little bit. So um, it took me 
longer than it should have taken me. But like I said, it's a really relatively easy exam. It took me about 10 days and all to study and revise and uh, just make sure I was ready for the exam. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the exam. I took the exam online using Pearson View. I've always been taking all my exams online. So I'm pretty familiar with the process. It wasn't um, too hard to get it all set up. I took it in my bathroom. <laughs> like I always take most of my certifications. So um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty easy process. So um, definitely be sure to know the rules for it before taking your exam online so you don't get caught up on the day of exam trying to like rush to figure something out that you should have known before starting the exam. So yeah, those are my recommendations for the exam. Um, I definitely want to learn a lot more about Linux because um, if you're in security, um, Linux is also a really essential aspect of security. So I do plan on probably taking or studying for the Red Hat certified um, system administrator exam simply because it's um, you know practical and it's also um, widely recognized. I might take the certification, I might not, but just to have um, just to you know have that knowledge of Red Hat as well as knowledge of a practical Linux exam is something that I would consider later down the line. I might or might not, it just depends on how my career progression is and you know my priorities as time goes on. Um, but aside that, I don't really think I would take any Linux certif certification. I would rather just um, learn about Linux from YouTube or from courses online or just for the needs I have for Linux if I and I have to have to use Linux. So that's just you know my own personal prerogative. Uh, so um, if you're looking to take a fundamental Linux certification, this is definitely a really good introduction to that. So I definitely recommend it for like the basics, like the fundamental knowledge. Um, but beyond that, I, I personally cannot recommend any Linux certification. I feel like if you want to take a Linux certification, you should decide that on your own um, based off of your career progression or what your employer needs or um, what you think it's, is you know, important for your, for your career or what you want to do um, as a IT professional or Linux professional or security professional or networking professional because Linux is like all in comparison. It's, you know, it's in IT, it's in networking, it's in uh, cybersecurity. So, However that works out for you, um, all the best with that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and also be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And be sure to check out my other videos. You're definitely going to find something of value there. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next video. One more thing before I go. I forgot to show you guys my shirt from Black Hat. So this is also one of the shirts I go from back Black Hat. This is from Extra Hop. And I can't remember what it said at the back, but yeah, this is what it says at the back. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.